Hey guys, Tom here, and today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you how to unlock or get to the secret Al Fava boss fight in the Harata Estate. There's a few things you need to do, but the most important thing is that you need to kill him the first time in like the regular story playthrough. So I've just done that. And uh, the second most important thing, you need to make sure you've got the uh, the incense burner glowing red like that. So you've done the whole talking to Kuro about the stone, the flower, and then you've done the cutscene where he cuts his chest, drops a bit of his blood into it, and it turns red. Because if you don't do that, you won't be able to do this next bit. So once that's done, you have to go here, and then lean around the corner like this. Now I can't do it because I've already done it, uh, because I just wanted to see if this was working, but it will give you an option to eavesdrop him. And he'll say something about, uh, we need to do what needs to be done. And your guy will go, Ooh, and it will say dot, dot, dot in the subtitles. Once that's done, then you want to go over here, sit down and rest. And Emma should disappear from this spot up to the top of the stairs, which is where I'm at now. But like I say, you've got to make sure the incense burner is red. And, you know, you've done all the stuff with the flower, the stone, and he's cut himself on the chest. Like, the incense stuff is done. That conversation's over, or this won't start. So then you talk to Emma. <laughs> And then you have to agree with her. I'm going to skip this dialogue because you'll be able to listen to it when you want to do it. But, uh, yeah, you're, you're confronting her about it, basically. So let's just let's skip through this. I'm going a bit slow because I don't want to accidentally press no. Uh, I agree. So you agree with her? And then... Okay, now... She should go... Hold on, let me talk to her again just in case. Okay, so apparently I actually made a little bit of a mistake there in that part. So hopefully I remember to put this before that part. But after you agree with Emma, you, any, you need to rest and then talk to her again. There we go. So you need Tomo's note first. So hopefully I remember to put this bit before, even though this is after. But yeah, so you get Tomo's note. Uh, talk to her a bit more about purification. Just skip through all this. Obviously, you know, you can listen to it when you get to that point. But I'm going to skip through it. So now that that's done... Let me just check, talk to her one more time just to double check. I think that's it. Okay, yep, that's that. And now... Now you go to the old grave, which hopefully... I'll now cut back to the part where I showed you how to get there very easily. So, she should go to the old graves now. So, we actually haven't been there yet because... Well, we have, but it changes and it locks itself off. But the best way to get there is to go to the antechamber. Once you're at the antechamber, literally sprint through here. Jump off the edge, go down, turn around this way. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay. Yep, go this way. Out the door. Open this. Oh, God. I don't know if he can follow me out or I forgot he was here. So, yeah, just, just ignore the chain ogre for now. And uh, then you want to go this way. And just run all the way through. And this one here is the old grave. So, they shouldn't chase me all the way, but they might. Okay, didn't want to do that. Please rest. Please rest. Please let me rest. Oh, God. All right, we're at the old grave. Hopefully, you know, you've just seen how to get here if you didn't know already. Now that those two guys are out of the way and stuff, and I've actually, you know, got Tomo's note, now she's here where we're going to talk to her once more. Again, I'm going to skip through this. Obviously, when you do it, you can, you know, listen to it. Feel free. So, she just said that about the sculptor. We're going to skip through this again. I think that was the same thing. Let me just double check. Yes, it was. All right. Now, this is the last bit. Nice and quick. Now you go back to the dilapidated temple and go around the back. And then you eavesdrop on him, which I will show you now. All right. So, like I said, you can see him in there. So you go around the back. That better be the right one anyway. Go around the back. And you eavesdrop through this hole. And then I'm going to skip through this as well. So that's that done. And then you go in and you confront Emma. You're like, yo, what did you just say to me or about me? And then you should, hopefully. Oh, no, this is the wrong thing. Oh, no, no, there you go. Okay. Oh, my God, I got so worried. And I was like, no, it's messed it up. No, ask about what you overheard. So skip through this. She's all surprised. And... Ask where she is hiding. Boom! Father's bell charm. A bell charm previously owned by the owl. The owl held this bell for a long time. Offering it at the dilapidated temple may result in seeing a different memory than before. There's no way I know why this protective bell exists. Perhaps the owl kept it for himself. Or perhaps he meant to give it to someone. Let's get through this. Obviously, you know, you can, like I say, listen to it on your one. And now, you go here. Pray. And we should be back 
at the Harara Estate. There we go, nice and easy. Well, not really, because you have to get to this point in the game and then beat him the first time, which is very hard. But the actual getting of the bell is quite easy. <laughs> I hope that was straightforward. Um, hopefully that wasn't like confusing in any way. It's not, I haven't done a tutorial video in like years and years, and the last ones I did were very bad, because they were like Minecraft tutorials. But here we are, we're back at the Harara Estate. So now you basically just want to progress through the same as you did the first time, but there'll be new enemies, new mini-bosses, and at the end of it, you will fight your dad in the prime of his life. It is apparently a very, very, very hard boss fight, so good luck with that. I'm not going to show it. I'm going to leave that for you to find out. But that is going to be it for this tutorial. So like I said, hopefully it was straightforward enough and you could follow it uh, fairly easy. And hopefully it wasn't confusing at all. And uh, yeah, that is going to be it. So I hope you did enjoy this. I hope you could follow it well. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and leave a comment down below or subscribe to the channel for more videos. And it stuff is massively appreciated. As always, I'll see you in the next video. And goodbye.